Welcome back to Titans Franchise. How's it going, Internet? My name is JB, and today we're going to be taking on the 1-2 and two New England Patriots, looking to get our first win of the season. Things have been less than ideal. Every week it's been something, except for week two. Week two was really good. Week one, interceptions. Week three, couldn't complete a pass. Week two, we just, you know, we went forward on fourth down when we shouldn't have. Uh, but this week we are playing a team that is actually kind of, you know, equal footing to us. I would say we are probably the underdog in our first three games, but this week the Patriots also suck. So <laughs> we might actually be able to do something. We do have a ton of stuff to take care of before the game. So let's go ahead and get that started with the QB1 check-in. See what the media has to ask us about Will Levis. Your team has struggled out of the gate so far. And when that happens, a lot of blame is usually placed up on the quarterback. Who needs to step up? Uh, Levis definitely needs to step up, but so does his offensive line. His offensive line needs to give him time to throw. He threw out of at least five or six sacks last week. So definitely need to clean that up. But we'll say Will Levis just because I believe that makes the uh, thing easier for him. He just needs three plus passing touchdowns. All right. Uh, I think that's like, I, I don't remember what the team option is there. And I don't really care. Uh, it's also apparently going to be a heavy rain game. So it might be hard to throw three plus touchdowns. Maybe should have thought of that, but whatever. Um... Looks like it's going to be raining the, for the entire game and probably won't take long for the conditions to get pretty sloppy. What's our plan on offense? Run the damn ball. We got uh, Ty J Spears going last week, had over 100 yards, running Kendra Miller to help out. We're going to try to keep the ball on the ground and see if we can't beat the Patriots that way. Now, last and certainly not least, we have some upgrades after practice, which took care of off screen. Nothing interesting happened. Uh, we have upgrades for Dwayne McGee and Will Levis. So for McGee... He's been really good so far. I got knocked out of last week's game with injury. Uh, his route running is really good. I think we just go into... I want catching to be higher. I'm going to just do deep threat. We'll just do deep threat. So we can't get some speed upgrades. Nah. But we do get plus one awareness, catching, and release. And then plus two to deep route running. I'll take that. Unfortunately, it does not affect his overall. But what this game will affect, assuming he can play 16 snaps this week, is we will learn his... Uh, development trait, which we know is at least superstar if you missed the first episode of this series. We uh, upgraded him to an 80 overall in the preseason, and he got an ability slot, so he's at least superstar up. And then for Will Levis, it's been straight strong arm upgrades thus far because we've been trying to increase his medium accuracy. And looking at what he has here, it's, you know, deep, medium, and short are all pretty even. His throw power is really good as well. I think we want to go Improviser. I want some throw under pressure because he's been pressured a lot. Maybe we can be a little bit better there. It won't be as bad. So we'll go Improviser. It does go up to a 74 overall. And we get plus two break sack, plus two throw on the run, and plus two deep, or plus one deep accuracy, rather. Not bad. Didn't get throw under pressure, but I'll take throw on the run for sure. Not bad at all. Ooh, it is actually raining. Half the time when it tells you it's going to rain, it doesn't actually rain, but it looks like we are going to be having a rain game here today. There's Damian Ross, the rookie middle linebacker. Forget where he went to college, but he, spoiler alert, is an absolute monster. I doubt his development trait is revealed, but it's Superstar X Factor. He's a freak. Has big hitter, really high hit power, 90 plus speed. He is an absolute monster, and I am very jealous that he's not on my team. But here is this Titan squad taking the pill. Should have thrown on some alternate jerseys. Forgot that was an option. But it looks like Mac Jones is still going to be the QB of the Patriots. Let's get things started, though. We will be returning to start the game. Means we get to hopefully snag some momentum. As Cordell Patterson catches the kickoff. Gonna have a decent return. Breaks a tackle. It's almost to the 30. Nice job, Cordell. See Levis' stats. They're not great. The accuracy needs to be better. Obviously, the interceptions are a little bit high, especially three weeks into the season. But a lot of that's throw out a sack. And also bad decision. But throw out a sack definitely doesn't help. Game plan is keeping the ball on the ground, trying to get Tasha Spears involved again. Had a really, really, really good game in week three. 100 plus yards. Let's see if we can't duplicate that here today with a nice start for about 13 yards there on the carry. Gets us out to the 40. <clears throat> Very good run. First down again. Going to be another handoff to Spears this time up the middle with a little trap play. And he's just faster. Gets another eight yards. Had 122 yards on the ground last week. We can duplicate that here today. I like our chances. Finds its space between the tackles and gets another first down. Ty J Spears 
incredible start to the game. Three for 24. We will eventually be able to catch him napping and try to bomb him over the top of play action. I'm going to run this away from Matthew Judon. Call me crazy. He was pretty good, though. Ball to fullback. Ah, need you to hold that a little bit longer, Rashid. Try to break it to the outside because the fullback wasn't exactly blocking, but didn't have the time. And I think now is when we try to catch him. We're going to go play action here on second and nine. And Burks has it. Oh, I forgot I switched the uh, passing. I knew that was going to happen, but it's a big good accuracy anyway. As Traylon Burks gets down inside the three-yard line. 44 yards on the first pass of the game. Levis finding his guy, Traylon Burks, who is having a phenomenal year so far. At the drop last week, of course. But hasn't kind of touched on yet. Should have, but again, drop. We're actually going to run it here. He's on the ground to Taijay, and that is a great tackle in space by, I believe, Jelani Tavai. Yes. Going up to McGee, and that's going to be out of bounds. <laughs> they really just want us to run slants. That is the only play they're really giving us, except from some long developing routes, and I'd rather just play slants than that. We're going to go to Burks, and he is going to bring it in for the touchdown. There we go. Traylon Burks. Touchdown, Titans. Very good first drive. Yeah. Spike it, brother. Nice firm handshakes all around. 14 mile per hour win. Jesus. We could hit from like 65. Mac Jones looking pretty good so far. Very accurate. No interceptions. We'll see if we can change that here today. About 10 yards per completion as well. We're gonna need to uh we're gonna need to change it if we want to have success here. I did not really want to blitz, so we'll just immediately play a change out of that. It's gonna be a handoff to Ramondre Stevenson. And uh that is just really bad. And uh okay, okay. I'm I'm pressing A and it just doesn't give me the animation for the tackle. Ramondre Stevenson touchdown. I'm spamming the tackle button with Amadi Hooker and he just, he doesn't do anything. He just runs right past. I am spamming A. I am spamming it. And he just runs right past them. I think it's a conservative tackle. I'm not trying to, you know, miss a hit stick or a cut stick there. I'm just trying to prevent the touchdown and I don't even get the animation. Touchdown, New England. Cordell Patterson fumbles on the kickoff, and it's going to be recovered by New England. Oh, no. What an awful, awful start to the game. Yeah, we're not going to get a review. It looks like he, he just got stood up and fumbled. If five just rips it out of his hands. It's going to be Peppers. Gabriel Peppers just ripping it out. Huge turnover for New England. Jones throws it into the dirt. Thank you for that. That's Clay Staley in coverage against the tight end. That's not what you want. Hunter Henry on the reception. Third and five now. Just outside the red zone. And that pass incomplete. Gotta force the fourth down, which will be a field goal, thankfully. So the fumble on the kickoff doesn't end up hurting us too much. Gonna give Patterson another chance here. Just go down, please. Do not fumble again. Gets us out to the 28. Good return. Gonna continue to lean on Ty J Spears on this drive. Give him the ball. Follow Peter Skronsky. Really good block. Gets brought down by the safety after a nice six-yard gain. Let's well, try a nice little jet sweep. See, what's the worst that could happen? Matthew Judon ruins Dwayne McGee's life? Yeah, that's probably the worst that could happen, and that's exactly what happens. All right. You know, just once, I would like the fucking... You know, blockers to look at the goddamn edge rusher that is just standing right the fuck there, like... Jesus fucking Christ. 
Okay, no, let, let's not let's not even attempt to block the superstar dev player. Let's double cover the fucking 3-4 and Dietrich Wise or whoever the fuck it is these days. Complete to Burks on the out route. Okonkwo is going to get a nice little run after catch opportunity. Gets nine. Third and one? Or second and one? I love taking play action shots here. We're going to do it. Dwayne McGee has a stamina thing. His stamina must be unbelievably low. I need to check that after the game because, my God. All right. Uh, Kaiser White with the easiest sack of his career. Dwayne McGee is completely uncovered. I'm just going to turn this into a straight vert route so he just gets as far down the field as quickly as possible. And we're going to hit him. You don't want to cover him. I'm going to take advantage of it. First down, Dwayne McGee. Levis starting out 5 of 6. Great start to the game. And I think we go back to the run game here. Put a little counter play. All the blockers. Wish would have uh, 72 would have stepped up to the safety there, but we'll take eight yards. Skaronski refuses to block Tavai, but we do get the first down anyway. <laughs> I think uh, Tajay Spears just called Jelani Tavai too small, which is hilarious. Okonkwo has a step on Tavai. That's not even Okonkwo. That's Zach Ertz with the reception. And he might be hurt on the play. Yep, he's getting up. All right. Walk it off. I love this play here. Middle of the field is wide open. So it's going to be a handoff to Pierce. And he's going to have a chance at the end zone if he can run through the tackle of the safety. He cannot, but he gets down to the two-yard line. Geno Stone preventing the touchdown. He has six tackles in the first quarter. Jesus. We're actually going to go pass here and see if we can't get another slant to Burks. Yeah. Stone is playing too far off. That's an easy touchdown. Caroline Burks is second of the first quarter. We'll take a 14 to 10 lead here with just five seconds to go in the first. Our offense has been very good today. Defense has been great aside from the... Uh, 75 yards, Stevenson touchdown. Last play of the first quarter. Jones going to drop back. What a route by Stevenson, first off. But that pass is going to be knocked out by Jeremy Chin. Good coverage on the tight end there. Locking him down. Actually going to have one second left in the quarter. I kind of want to just blitz Mac Jones. He's Mac Jones. Gonna have a quick hitter to Henry that's gonna be just short of the first down. Good find from Mac. See, we have a huge yards advantage and play advantage. Just they have the one huge touchdown and the fumble, so they are still very much in this game. That fumble's proving to be a huge factor in keeping the Patriots in the game thus far. Well, and the one run, but. Speaking of runs, there we go. Great stop. Aziz beating Stevenson in the gap. Stevenson going to be just short of the line to gave, gain. Fourth and inches, excuse me. I can't speak. And the Patriots will punt. And you'd think at some point we'd get a little bit more than basically no momentum. I should have called a fair catch there, but actually Patterson's going to have a chance at this. My brain just went blank. I didn't even think to call a fair catch, but we're going to have the ball from basically midfield. Levis, phenomenal on the last try. 5-5 five five for 52 yards and the touchdown. We're going to get Kidre Miller a look here. Going to send Beta in motion. And just run right behind him with Kidre Miller. He's our power guy. Good block on Matthew Judon. But unfortunately, no gain for all of that. Second and 10, another run for Spears. And that is stopped by Christian Barmore and friends. McGee one-on-one, -on -one, and he gets upended by Jones. Can't come down with it. Tough time for that. 
I like the shot. You got to give him a chance. 6-5 versus a tiny corner. And he just gets drilled. Now, I understand that this technically isn't pass interference, but, like, that's got to be kind of... He, he literally goes at his legs while he's in the air. That's... Come on. Like, he, he's falling straight back down from, like, what, three, four feet in the air? I mean, that that's unnecessary roughness or something. I get it's not, but, like, it totally is. Donnell's kicking into 14 mile an hour winds. Let's see what he can do. And it's not a bad one. Going to be down at the 15 yard line. We'll take it. No return. And Monty Rice hurt on the play. His, he's injured all the time. He's been knocked out in three of the four games thus far. And he's heading back to the locker room. Mac Jones on the fucking keeper. Gets killed. And Aziz Al-Shair injured now. So both of our inside linebackers injured. Can you stop hurt? Our linebackers have been injured like constantly in this series. It's a broken finger for Monty Rice and he's done for the day. Well, we need to move Jeremy Chin to sub linebacker at this point because he's really the only other guy on the roster that can play that position. Did he get off the field? It's going to be a screen. And that should have been intercepted by Simmons, but he just watches it as Mac Jones throws yet another incompletion. And it's bruised ribs for Aziz Al-Shair. Um, so we can either keep him in the game or substitute him into the game. Uh, he won't be playing. That's insane. It's going to be mostly Jeremy Chin and Josh Bynes, but man. We need Brandon Smith back in the worst way. Get returned out to the 40 for Patterson. Spears having another great game. 10 for 57. And he'll get the ball here on first down. Run a little bit of inside zone. You gotta outrun to buy there. And Devin Freeman injured. Bruh, the injury is on like 20. Jesus, dude. My team is dropping like flies. Bruce Sternum for Freeman. He's done for the game. That'll bring in Matt Paradis. We are just getting ravaged by injuries. They are pressing Dwayne McGee hella hard. So depending on what the safety does, we might just take a shot. It's just going to be a check down and overthrown, intercepted by Manning. Unfortunate because we really could not afford to turn over there. And it looks like Aziz is back in the game already, so that's good. Good tackle in open field by Jeremy Chin. Gonna count as a run for Romandre. Bunch left. Jones knocked out. Good defense by Darian Gallery, forcing another incompletion. Could force another punt. Mario Douglas gonna bring it in. And that punt is barely gonna make it into the end zone. That could have been really bad. Five yards on first down for Tajay Spears. Third and five after another incompletion. We'll see what can happen here. As Levis gets sacked. Jones gonna find his guy. I believe that's Juju down to the 21 yard line. And it's gonna be Juju. He's doing the giving birth celebration on a first down. All right, buddy. I need you to calm down, guy. Ooh, need you to catch that, Darian. You got a chance at your third interception, brother. You got you to take that one back. Josh Bynes can't wrap up. Gain of six on the play. Whoa! <laughs> Aziz Al-Shayeri gets upended after the play. A little bit of contact going on. A little bit of a scuffle. It's going to be a screen, and that is dropped by Ramondre. Good force. Yet another field goal. 14 to 13. After the field goal is good by the Patriots. They have Judon off ball right now, so we are just going to hand this off to Spears and just see if he can't get the edge. 
No, he cannot. Jabril Peppers. Gonna bring up the two minute warning. Need points here, actually, because the Patriots will be getting the ball at the start of the second half, so. Would love to take more than a one point lead into the locker room if we can. That pass is gonna be knocked away. Why would we ever not try to get the first down here? Put McGee on a streak and just see what happens. And sacked again! Dietrich Wise. Jeez, dude. First down from the 40 for the Patriots. Gonna bring a blitz there. Good defense by Nick Cross. And Hunter Henry gets past disease. Need you to put your hand up, dude. Mac Jones having a Will Levis esque first half, six for 15. But pretty much all of those to Derrick Henry. Or nope, Hunter Henry. I called him Derrick earlier because I'm the Titans and I'm used to Derrick Henry. But no, it's Hunter Henry. Perhaps step up and catch that, Amani? Two running backs in the backfield. And that is going to be complete to Juju for the first. That's a call of timeout with 37 seconds left in the first half. Well within field goal range, we just need to keep him out of the end zone here. Aziz couldn't get to Mac, but that pass is complete on the sideline. Demario Douglas, I disagree. I don't think he caught it, but we're not gonna challenge it because the, the, the game's not gonna give it to us if we did. Another completion, Mac Jones all of a sudden can't miss. There we go, there's another incompletion. Good defense by Nick Cross to knock that one out. Still plenty of time to take another shot or two to the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown to who else but Hunter Henry. We cannot cover tight ends to save our life. And this is a potentially worst case scenario as the Pats will take a six point lead heading into the locker room and they will get the ball when they come out. So a chance to really, really extend the lead. So we need, need a stop. Start the third. Or a miracle here to end the first half. We're right, going to make Cordell return this. So we'll see if we can't get us in position to do something. 26. We are not kneeling. We're going to at least attempt to, you know, take a shot. Leave Tajay in the block and just see if someone can win. And that pass is just going to be incomplete. I just threw it up to McGee. Should have thrown it up to Shahid, but didn't. Heading into the half. Still have... Well, we don't have either advantage now, because apparently our passing yards went down because of the sacks. That's not how that works, but alright. We'll try to continue to throw it short. And... 40 yards per carry on the outside run. Uh, Can we defend... We'll defend the short pass. Okay, honestly, this is a, a huge, huge point of the game. If they get a two possession lead here, this could be disastrous. So we really need to stop now more than ever. And then you play action. And Jones going to hit Stevenson out of the backfield, but no gain. Good coverage by Harold Landry on the play. Juju this time. Beating Keely Ringo out of the slot. Kelly Ringo made a single good play this season. I don't know that he has. That's going to be a quick pass to who else but Hunter Henry. Matt Jones all of a sudden playing phenomenal football the last two drives. After being pathetically bad. Like Will Levis bad for the first two quarters. For the first, you know, quarter and a half.
And all of a sudden, he is unstoppable now. Ramondre, four carries for eight yards after the 75 yarder to start the game. Third and two. We're going to run commit. They pass out of this. They do They do it, but I don't think they will. They don't, and we do get the stop. Nice. Big tackle there by Sean Murphy Bunting to prevent the first and get us the ball back. Need to take the lead here. I've tried to call a fair catch. It won't let me. So uh, Patterson catches it and just jumps into the pile. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, hold Y these days. It used to be just press Y. Call a fair catch, but you have to hold it now. Okonkwo goes and gets it. He was wide, so we needed him to make that catch, and he does. Okonkwo with a huge diving grab. Might be him again. Gonna give him a chance after the catch. Get this eight. Now on second down, we're gonna go back to Tyje Spears. And he should get the first. He does. All right. Can we flip this to being away from Judon? Doesn't look like it. All right. And Judon blew it up. Cool. That's... You're not allowed to do that. I didn't want to call a timeout. God damn it. Well, hopefully we don't end up needing that. This shit is DPI when your players do it by the way that that's fucking dpi when your players do this when the game is bad and you're you're just stuck on someone but when the cpu does it nope no dpi mcgee can't bring it in took a shot for the end zone nearly oh i guess we're iced cool you gonna move it slightly to the right Three, two, now. I think we hit it. We did. Nice. Cameron Dicker puts it through the uprights. All right, let's get back to making Mac Jones look awful. Please and thank you. There we go. That pass knocked out. Big third down, Jones rolls out. Nowhere to go with it. Under pressure, and he's going to throw it away. Great coverage, great defense. And we will get the ball back once again. Um, all right. I don't know what to do on these punts because they're going to call that a block in the back, so we're going to lose 15. But, like, the dude can't even get it 10 yards because of the wind. And Patterson can't, couldn't catch up to it to call a fair catch, so... I guess we're backed up to the 35 now. Spears on the carry. It's a couple. Third and eight. After a throw out of sack. So, gonna need to pick up a first down here. We're gonna give him Shahid a chance. And just out in front. I gotta get better with that. That's a huge gain if we lead him just slightly better. Pretty good punt. They somehow get momentum from that. Makes absolutely no sense. I think they passed out of this last time, so let's just blitz. They did not at this time anyway. Ebner gets a couple. Stevenson bounces it back outside and he's going to get dropped for a, for a loss. Josh Bynes in there to bring him down. And we will get the ball back once again. Patterson going to get a return here out to the 45 and Jawan Bentley injured on the play. Nice. We have our guy. It's going to be Shahid. Down the sideline. Gets us into the red zone. Good find by Will Levis. Complete to Rasheed Shaheed. A gain of 37 yards. 
Shahid is first catch of the game. And he's not going to be a guy who gets a ton of volume, but he is going to be a guy who hits a huge chunk play every so often. As Spears goes up the middle for five. The amount of throw to sacks that we get is kind of insane. Gonna be a screen. Good blocking. Spears gonna have a chance to get to the outside. Brought down at the three. We might try to power this in with Kendra Miller. And he's gonna have a chance. Touchdown, Kendra Miller. Gives us the lead again, 23, hopefully 24 to 20. We are, of course, still iced, even though we are scoring and now have the lead. They still have almost full momentum. 14 seconds left in the third. Jones going to drop back to pass and hit his man over the middle. Demario Douglas out to the 45, 20 yards on that play. And that will end the third quarter. 24 to 20 is the score. Can we blow our third straight fourth quarter lead or will we finally be able to close the game out? We have nine minutes to find out the answer to that question. Jones going to have the ball around midfield. Stevenson running around out of the backfield. Jeremy Chen needs to wrap up and he is going to be able to. A loss of four on the play. Good job by Jeremy Chen. And there's going to be a completion... First down, Patriots. Stevenson can't get past his own guy. Wrapped up by Gallimore. No gain on the play. That's actually going to be TR Tart. My mistake. Look, my starters don't actually play on the D-line. Jeffrey Simmons is never out on the field. There it's Clay Staley. Nope. That's going to be Danico Watry. On the TFL. Listen, I know my own teammates. I know I know I know my players. Gonna play the sticks on third and long. And there there it is. They're gonna call that DPI on Aziz Al Shire. Illegal contact, five yards, automatic first down. But when they did that to Dwayne McGee, doesn't get called. But this gets called illegal contact. Because I'm Fucking just trying to get over to my guy. And he just runs into me. Hunter Henry just runs into. Uh, Ash here. I mean, they're calling it here on like the push off, but that's still fucking stupid. Because of course that would have gotten us off the field, but it doesn't matter. The game is awful. Aziz, big QB hit. We're annoyed by that call. We think it's bullshit. So we're going to try to kill Mac Jones because of it. And we're actually going to get burnt deep. Cedric Wilson down to the two-yard line. I don't even know who 38 is, but he just got killed. I think that might be the rookie Shields, the superstar dev UDFA. Actually going to be Butler, Malcolm Butler, getting destroyed. Former Patriot. He's, uh, he's working for the other guy. He's working for the other team. Sabotaging. Need to investigate that, but there's a good tackle. First time ever goal line defense has worked. We're going to run commit again. And it's going to be a pass, but that is going to be out of bounds, thankfully. Starting goal from the four. We're going to trust zone here. I don't love it, but that's what we're going to do. It slants and Jones is going to go down. Sacked by James Houston. Big play. Got to force the field goal and keep us in the lead. With just over five minutes to go. In the fourth. Big stand by the defense. Get the double agent Butler off the field and good things start to happen. We're just going to get the ball in the hands of one of our playmakers. See if he could do something with his jet sweep. Nope. 
Eh, run it back up the middle, get a couple, because people just refuse to block the edge on that play. Levis, nothing open, sacked by Judon. Oh, we are selling once again. Gonna have to leave Spears in the block. Need 19 on this one. Take a one-on-one -on -one shot to McGee. Ends up being double coverage. And we will punt right back. Pretty good return. Gives the ball, Patriots the ball on midfield, essentially. And out to Stevenson gets shut down. Neville Gallimore making a play, gets in, getting into the backfield. Our run defense has been phenomenal today, aside from the 75-yard gain on the first play of the game. So we don't need to talk about that. But aside from that, Stevenson hasn't been able to do anything. They're going to give him the ball again. And it's going to be a quick third and ten. The 44 is not field goal range, so... But we can just do our job and get off the field here. It's essentially just going to reset the game from the last possession. Just really need this stop more than ever now. And that is going to be complete. Mario Douglas beats Gallery. Pierre Tart! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't say anything because I did think uh, I was actually going to get the sack, but he just bullies the guard and gets to Mac Jones for the sack. Oh my gosh, just completely running through Cole Strange. Stevenson can't help, and Tier Tart gets to Mac Jones. Huge, huge play from our vet DT. Signed a big extension into the offseason to make plays like that and brings up third and 21. And the two minute warning, more importantly. And from where they are on the field, they're going to be around the 40, right? I didn't exactly look. Yeah, on the 41. It's going to be closer field goal range, so we just need to be smart about this. Nothing over the top. Please just play the six. Don't get beat. No first downs. And I did land a completion. Jeffrey Simmons forcing the pressure. Nearly brings down Mac Jones, and that could be huge. They're coming out to go for it? Question mark? Yeah, they're going for it on fourth and 21. Oh, yeah, they do kind of need to, don't they? Everybody back up. Oh, I didn't get the change. Oh, it's going to be a screen. And it's thrown into the dirt. I didn't even... Th they have three timeouts. I don't know. I think you probably go for the field goal there. I don't I think you try to take the lead. It's what a 56 yarder Then again, it is into 14 mile an hour wind. So I, I get it. Yeah So that is probably the smartest decision overall But now inside two minutes to go all we have to do is get a first down and that ends the game So we of course gonna be keeping the ball on the ground hand off to Ty J Spears and he's gonna get the first down unfortunately Doesn't really matter in this scenario because they still have two timeouts to work with you want to get the first down ideally after they call their first timeout but obviously you're going to take the yards too still does burn the timeout we're going to run this away from Matthew Judon it will let me snap the damn ball going to go up the middle there's their second timeout just one left there's the hand off the Spears. He's got a chance at it, and he gets the first. There's a flag on the play, though. Anything but a hold. And it's going to be a hold. Oh, my God. Daniel Brunskill keeps the Patriots alive with that, that hold. Second and 14. Still have a couple chances at the first. Spears... Nothing going there. Third and 15, our final timeout. I think we go for the first. Or do we want to just run the clock down and punt? First down ends it. We can guarantee take about a minute off the clock if we just run the ball. So I think we're just going to run the ball. And try to pin him deep. Tyje gets us to the 49. Beautiful punt, if I do say so myself. Nearly perfect. So they're going to have about 45 seconds left. 
give or take a couple about 50 seconds left actually to get down the field we'll go ahead and kick it here and stonehouse is going to pin them on the 12 yard line so they have 49 seconds no timeouts to go 80 plus yards We're not going to play soft zone because that is how you get beat in these situations. We're just still going to play our game. And Hunter Henry is going to have a huge game. Keep him in bounds. No. <laughs> okay. Really good start. Really good start. They need a 39 yard line for Chad Ryland. Awful, awful start. Okay. Should have known I was going to get targeted there. Good hit there by Davis to keep them in bounds. Twenty seconds to go. Another check down. That's fine. Just keep them in bounds. Keep them short. They're at midfield. At fifteen seconds left. Seven seconds to go. This could be the final play. Now we just back up. No, 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 no. no, no. Oof. We were not in a good uh, coverage there. I did not like that. So we give them four seconds. That was probably a mistake to call a timeout there. But I did not like our coverage. So we're just going to be safe about it and just force them into the Hail Mary. Probably an awful decision, but... It's actually hot! Oh my god! But it doesn't matter. Mike Ackerson and the Titans will get their first win of the season. How do you allow that catch, guys? Oh, my Lord. You're trying to give me a heart attack here. 24 to 23 is going to be your final. Our defense played great today. Mac Jones looking like Will Levis out there. They get a couple of bad luck plays just with that huge run to start the game. Had a turnover in there. But for the most part... Did our job, got the win. Levis, don't love the uh, accuracy once again, but, you know, that's okay, I guess. A lot of throwing out a sack because that's just what we have to do. 11 for 23 for 177, two touchdowns and the pick. Mac Jones, 23 for 42 for 294 and a touchdown. Rushing Ty J. Spears had 22 for 88. For Mondre Stevenson, 13 for 80 and the touchdown, but had 75 yards on one play. So aside from that, 12 carries for five yards. Phenomenal, phenomenal run defense. He drive Miller, two carries for three yards on a touchdown. Shahid had a carry. Tristan Ebner did as well. Dwayne McGee did. Mac Jones had a keeper. Receiving Traylon Burks, four for 64 and two touchdowns. Trigal Kakwa, three for 40. Tajay Spears, one for nine. Rashid Shahid, one for 37. One for eight for Ertz. And then one for nine for Dwayne McGee, including two drops. So between throwing out a sack and the two drops, that's what... At least five incompletions for Levis. So that would make his stat line look, you know, 16 for 23, which would have been a lot better. And then the Patriots, Hunter Henry, nine for 92. And a touchdown. We can't cover tight ends. Demario Douglas, five for 50. Juju, five for 94. There's a lot of just chunk plays for this team, honestly. Murphy Bunting leads the team in tackles with six, few guys with five. Two TFLs for Josh Bynes and Jeremy Chin. One for a bunch of guys. Sacks for James Houston and Tierra Tart. No picks, of course. Don't have any upgrades, but we do have the QB1 check-in. So, not going to get a lot for Levis, but, you know, it's fine. I didn't have the game I said to have, but personal achievements are secondary to getting the win, and we accomplished that this week. Yes, we did. You did throw two touchdowns, though, which is fairly fine. Uh, it's a great attitude to have, especially as one of the leaders of this team. Keep practicing or preaching that to the team, and we're going to go far. It's true. Levis will have plus five medium and deep throw accuracy for the next game. I'll take that. That is amazing. And then for the rain game, I don't remember what our goals for this were, but uh, preparing for conditions like that is never impossible. Or it's near impossible, so it must be a relief to be standing here as a winner. It is, in fact, a relief. Absolutely. We did our best to formulate a plan of attack that all, that all goes out the window the second you step on the field into an inch of water. Your entire team has gained 1,000 XP. Nice. For weathering the storm. I imagine that it will give us some upgrades when we simulate to week 5, but 
before that, we do have some staff points to spend. And normally, I wouldn't show you this, but we will be one locking our fourth uh, focus player here, which is going to be massive. Let's get into week five, though. We'll be taking on the Buffalo Bills, which is going to be a crazy difficult matchup. And we do have some upgrades, so we'll end off the episode with that. Uh, quite a few guys, quite a few guys from that 1,000 uh, point XP boost. A money hooker we'll start off with. And he has been pretty awful. His zone coverage is good. His tackling needs to be better. So we might go run support, try to get his tackling up. Show me a tackle upgrade. He gets plus one Excel, hit power, man coverage, plus two play racket, plus one zone. So if that was definitely a run support upgrade. Kendra Miller coming off a touchdown. Uh, I would like to develop him as more of a power guy, but he's such a low overall that I do just want his overall to go up. But we'll give him a power back upgrade. His overall doesn't go up, unfortunately. But let's get plus one awareness, break tackle, stiff arm, and trucking. So very good upgrade, despite not going up to a 74. Starting center rookie Devin Freeman. His power game is horrendous. Like, so bad that it almost feels not worth upgrading. But I would like to get pass block power into the 70s, so I'll give him one there. He unfortunately does not go up in overall. It is damn near impossible to get your offensive lineman to go up in overall unless you upgrade their scheme fit for their best, uh, you know, archetype, whatever. Plus one awareness, pass block power, and run block power, plus two to run block. Not bad upgrades at all. We do get that pass block power into the 70s, which is what we were going for. For Brandon Smith, who is still going to be out another week with that pulled groin, uh, we're going to go run stopper for him. What well, block should be higher, but he is pretty much our best cover linebacker, so maybe we shouldn't have done that, but we end up getting plus two zone coverage anyway out of a run stopper upgrade, so that's fine. Plus one awareness and plus two tackle as well. Really good upgrade, just didn't get us block shutting, which is a 64. Yikes. Raidens, we'll just, uh, we'll make him a scheme fit, sure. Really, really good depth, though. line can play guard, can play tackle. And then for Rick Shields, UDFA corner with Superstar Dev. We're just going to develop him as a pure slot guy. Gets plus one agility and zone coverage. Gets plus two to awareness, press, and man coverage. That is why you upgrade slot, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually pretty good. The way Keely Ringo's been playing, he might, uh, might get on the field at some point. We'll see. But next week, we have Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen, and the rest of this Buffalo Bills team. It's going to be a doozy. Appreciate you guys checking this one out, though. And if you want to see this Bills game, be sure to like, subscribe, do all that sort of nonsense. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.